What's going on, everybody? We are back. It's your friend, Will. This is the Memory Lapse. And we are in part two, or volume two, of our Diamond in the Rough series. Uh, we're at the bottom of Diamond. We're playing fun decks. And I think today we're going to kind of continue on the green-red theme and play this dinosaurs list. So I found this on MTG Goldfish as a random 5-0 deck list. Uh, actually did a couple practice games with it and we won them. So it still has the explore package here, which I think makes it potentially reasonable for best of one. And then we're ramping into just good stuff like Phoenix, Vivian Reed, Registore Alpha, and then Carnage Tyrant and Galta. And let me tell you, Hasty Galta off of Registore Alpha wins games quickly. So let's take this in a ranked. I think you can see we're a couple clicks in, beating up on some white decks. Really no reach in this deck though, there's no Banefire, there's no... Nothing you can really do if you get stalled out. Alright, so we'll keep. I don't know about Drover. The, the ability for it to make red is useful in this deck that's mostly green. I think we've drawn almost all of our mountains here. Everything else in the land in the deck is going to be a green source. But we need the... Uh, obviously, we're missing Stomping Grounds, so the land is bad in this deck. All these green-red decks, I'm sure I mentioned this in the first video in this series, but all these green-red decks, I think, have a ton of upside potential once they get Stomping Ground. You can actually like cast things with double red and double green with some consistency. As it stands, it looks like, you know, I, I gotta say, these Thought Erasure decks, they always crush us, just like the one Thought Erasure crushes us, but then we never win when we play with them. They just seem awful for the latter, but they're just so good against mid-range decks that, that we tend to play. Alright, so that guarantees us the alpha next turn, though now we're at basically at the point where they're so far ahead. Um, just all they have to do is counter us until they can win the game. Oh, looks like they're going to give us the alpha. This lava coil doesn't seem especially useful. With the Galton in play, we actually don't want to trade this Merfolk branch walker away. I mean, not that it would have been a good trade necessarily anyways, but... I mean, imagine if they just, like, disinfo campaign here. All right. Well, they had it all. So how much is this going to cost? Five, six, seven. So we're just short. I think we have to play for the Gauss next turn. They put Thought Erasure in the graveyard, which is interesting. Alright, so this is just as good against Galta as the Thought Erasure would have been. Resets our board. I can flip search here. Another Thought Erasure to the bin. Even though that would have returned their Disinfo campaigns, it's kind of interesting. So their hand must be super good if they don't feel the need to return the Disinfo campaigns at this point. Alright. Oh, this can't be countered. Can't be Ritual of Citadel away. And we even have Lenore Elves to protect us from Elves are born. Yep. So they need to have uh, something to kill the Lenore Elves plus something but they need to have that. It has to be cheap enough, so it has to be a one or two cost thing. They don't have it. Let's play this first main phase. Make them use their counter. Carnage Tyrant might just get there. Um, I mean, if they have Rastus Contempt here, we're pretty sad. They're going to take 7, but we get Elders Reborn next turn. Yeah, that's exactly what they have. Uh, we almost came back here. I think we lose now. I'm just going to scoop it, because they're going to Elders Reborn us, and we, we don't really have good top decks here. Uh, 
but that was definitely the the one thought erasure got us. Like we would have had pressure, we would have uh, ramped a little bit faster. R.I.P. Jade Light Ranger. And I hate losing to those decks because I know that those people are never going to make Mythic playing their blue-black decks. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly confident they won't. But you give them, you give them the, the, the hope. They're like, well, we crushed green-red dinosaurs, so maybe this deck has a shot. I guess we keep this. If we get to untap with this, we get Jade Light. Otherwise, we'll decide between Lava Coil or Drover next turn, depending on what they play. Looks like they're just going to bolt it. Oh, no, they're going to give it to us. Nice. So we don't really have life gain in this deck. Uh, hmm. Do we want that? I don't think we want that. I just want to push and get closer to another land. We're just trying to scale up to alpha here. I think we all knew that was coming. We just coil here. Let's just save ourselves the damage. The Legion War Boss doesn't do much. The Drover just gets killed. Can't reliably ramp us. So, and we're not going to block with it. I think we're waiting to play this Drover now at this point until after we have a dinosaur in play, and it's a three-three. Right, maybe we play it here though, just for. Let's coil the chain whirler. We drew two of our three pieces of removal, which is pretty nice. So even if they take the drover off the board here, at least we can play Legion War Boss. Not amazing, but it's still a card. Oh, awesome. There's another let us play Alpha here. Uh, I should have played the land. They're going to use this in response anyways, though, so it's not like we would have been able to hold this as a blocker. Because once this comes in, this is going to grow, so they, they have to use the Firebrand now. Yeah. Oh, we might actually win this one here. They're down to one card. I think I like R2. Alpha blocks the Steamkin. It's hard for them to remove. This is the one thing I was worried about. It was like using our lava coils and if they had that main deck. I think we just plus though. I feel like the war boss doesn't do very much. Whereas like Carnage Tyrant will do a lot next turn. We're just trying to close the game out. If they want to devote resources to the Vivian Reed, they can. This is going to be a hasty 7-6 coming in. And if they attack with this, when we get in with these. I always take the cards off Vivian. And don't have to worry about using her to kill the Phoenix at this point. Oh, wow. They're taking this line to try to kill us in two turns line. Hmm.
Yeah, so if they top deck a three damage spell, they win. Or even a two damage spell. So it's basically just whatever the top card is. And then we have Carnage Tyrant next turn. They didn't have to attack. I'm not really sure why they did. But oh, we'll see what they drew, drew here. Are they just slow rolling us? Kind of feels like they are. Yeah. I mean, they drew 10 points of burn over two turns for us to lose from 16 or whatever we were at. A little unrealistic. That was like, I, I don't know, that felt like for sure a win and they just drew out of that. Not that I'm going to defend this deck that much, but come on, that's a little absurd. Alright, so we're against one of these blue decks. We actually have the war boss here. And we can disguise it for a second and delay the mountain. Ah, blue deck, here we go. Always with the thought erasures. What is it with these people? I, how do you realistically expect to beat red or white when your play is like tap land into thought erasure? But this is why we're in diamond. This is why like diamond four, we, we noticed this as we ranked back down that diamond four became so control oriented and it's just a lot of people stuck in D4 and D3 trying to force these control decks to work. Which is kind of what we're doing, but we're doing it as part of a, an attempt at a fun series. We're almost certainly not gonna play decks like this next weekend when we push to Mythic. Because it seems like pretty unlikely that we would win a game. Thought Erasure number three. Actually insane against this deck though. Like look at what they got with their Thought Erasures. And we would have drawn the land. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little tilting to play this deck and just run into the Thought Erasure decks. I'm just trying to think in best of one, like, in what universe you can keep a draw that has multiple Thought Erasures in it and expect to win. Oh, we drew all three of our dead lava coils. All right, let's scoop here. They actually just picked apart our entire hand. Uh, if we if we had drawn like just one two drop like a branch walker or something, I would have felt better about that because we would have had a reasonable clock on the board. Like if we were swinging for five instead of two, I would have just kind of laughed at their thought erasures. But us just sitting there with a one three and a handful of lava coils, it's not going to work. All right, so on the play, this is kind of an attempt at a tur turbo Galta hand. Our Gallo. This is definitely something we played against multiple times. We know that they can't thought erasure our jade light because we're on the play. So, oh, let's not forget to play the land of elves. If they play Drowned Catacombs tapped, at least we know. Alright, so they're on like what's more in the line of a real deck here. You gotta say, Registrar Alpha costing 5 is a little bit um, sad, but you can't just curve like jade light into that. But definitely fair since it's like 7 power. Oh, library. Hmm. I guess we want to try to find something we can play next turn. Yeah. So we're going to go Branch Walker next turn into Registrar Alpha into Galta and see if we just win off that. Let's see what we hit, and then we can decide if we're going to attack with the Jade Light. Rootbound Craig. So we may even have the option... We can just play the Galton next turn, too.
I think we'd rather play the Registor Alpha. Get wider on the board. Oh, they're not swinging. No, the 3-3 three, three is going to get in. Actually, I think like both of these get in. Eh, no, just the 3-3. Three, three. If they want to block, block. And take 4. Alright. Totally fair. I don't mind that because it takes, you know, it's going to make blocking for them harder, but also now it may, it's more costly for them to convoke this turn if that's what they want to do. If they convoke out an elephant this turn, I think they're just dead to the Galta. If they convoke out a Conclave on the Registrar Alpha, they are alive, probably. I didn't do the math and see if I should have attacked with this. But I'm going to assume this is kind of okay. Right, they're going to make the same kind of block here. This is a pointless block. So haste to Galta, a 2 mana 12-12 trample haste is pretty good. So this this deck in a meta of I think mono white and to some degree like black green, green white, and mono red even, I think it actually has the potential to play. And you could probably even tweak it, but I'm not sure we're ever gonna be control decks unless we get like a really nut Carnage Tyrant hand. All right, we get a turn two war boss here, which could be enough against some decks. The war boss is kind of a sketch inclusion for best of one. They need to fix this interaction. So they're playing, I'm going to guess, the green-white explore deck that we've been playing. And this is one of the cards that I've neglected to put into it that should obviously be in there. Yeah, so I think, as bad as it is, we're going to lava coil this so that we can get in the good attack with the war boss. And just let this thing go to work. And then we can play Wild Growth Walker second main. Yep, unsurprising trade here. If we draw a land, we can play Alpha. If we brick, we're not really bricking because we'll be able to play Merfolk Branch Walker, which is not awful. They look quite behind here on their going into their turn three, I have to say. Yeah. All right, so War Boss was solid there. Hey, we are playing dinosaurs. I do kind of wonder if you could build a slightly bigger version of this. I mean, I know that there were versions that were splashing white, like green, red, white for Clarion. That kind of makes some sense. But I don't know. I didn't find a build readily. 
All right, we'll keep taking the play. This is a strong enough draw, like in the dark, I think, on the play. They go down to six. Hmm. We'll see if they're on the bolt plan. Oh, no, they're not. They're on the discovery plan, on the Phoenix plan. All right, well, we can, we have a shot at making a big board and then we have a kindling Phoenix of our own to block in the air. All right, let's see if we hit a red land. Oh, oh we are gonna go ahead and play the red land. Just in case we draw one, we might wanna play Phoenix next turn. And we'll have Branch Walker as the backup. Oh, so they're splashing the black. So this is like the Viren. Oh no, okay, they're playing this. Hmm. I thought they were playing Drake's. But yeah, Moment of Craving should have been a giveaway. So yeah. Our third Thought Erasure deck in five opponents, which is a little unreal. And they're almost certain to have the Soot here. Don't think we want another one of those. Yeah. At least we have land here and we're drawing live to like Carnage Tyrant and Regisaur Alpha, or whatever that card is called. All right, so they're not gonna get us this turn. Three, six, seven, eight. They're missing double black. That's the other thing. So even if they have a Ritual of Set in Hand. Maybe they have Cast Down. Maybe they have Lava Coil. Moment of Craving. Hmm. This is disappointing. Four, five, six, or one short. And the elf doesn't help because it can't tap at this turn. Good enough. Finally be the Thought Erasure deck. Hell yes. All right, we'll keep we'll keep the play. I love this. It feels like we're winning all these games where we're on the play at least. Uh, we'll see what they show and we'll decide if we're playing Jade Light. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll wait on the Jade Light. The life gain might be important here. And plus we're not ramping into anything. Oh, it's Fog. Registrar Alpha might be good against Fog, though. Catch them unaware. We have Vivian, too. Graveyard. Because next turn we can play Vivian. We have Vivian or Registrar next turn, depending on what they do. Yeah. 
All right, so we brick. All right, so they're dead on board, so they have to start fogging or bathing. All right, looks like they have to fairy fog. We really want to draw land here. We need to Vivian da away this gift. Oh, come on, man. This is so free, and we missed two land drops. Not sure what to do about that. I think it, I think actually if we had been able to play Vivian and kill the gift that turn, we have a shot to win. This is a matchup that we're for sure unfavored in because we're it's that bad combination of no interaction, no pressure that we saw from the frenzy deck yesterday. Yeah. Well, there's a chance they can go off from here. Whereas they could not have been able to do that if we had drawn Vivi or we had gotten Vivian into play last turn, because they wouldn't have been able to make the double mana. So we kind of just got unfortunately blown out by missing two land drops. Yeah, Vivian's not enough now. I assume they're looking for fog. Or they're just digging and they have the fog. So this is like such a... Such a taunt. 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not even lethal. No, I think they do it like this. We need to threaten the Teferi. Okay. They can break from here. Although they get to ult to fairy now. It just depends on what they have. They need another turn. Yeah. Oh, this is just, this is disappointing. We, we lost one game to our opponent top decking two Bane Fires in a row. We're losing this game to us filling draw land. Oh, interesting. They plussed. Hmm. But now they just get to go off. They can remove four permanents. And they have fog probably. We can take land. Might as well show them. Tw 
12. Oh, they actually just get to like remove all the stuff in response, so. These are fogs now. Yeah. <sighs> We would have had a shot at even playing the, the Phoenix probably too if we wanted to, or we wouldn't have had to push it if we if we just had Stomping Grounds in the list. Stomping Grounds seems like it's going to be such an upgrade for all these decks. On the draw, I think we keep. A little bit of ramp, a little bit of interaction. Unreal. Is this gonna be a turn two thought erasure? No. Oh. Wow. Disinformation campaign. Right, Drover potentially gets us to register next turn. There's a wrath here. Oh no, okay. We're seeing a counter spell in some fashion. No? Still get the token. Jeez. So hateful. Oh, we got Lava Coil for their uh, <clears throat> potential Nickel Bolas. And we have Carnage Tyrant next turn, uncounterable. Probably just gonna discard Galta here. We want the land for Carnage Tyrant. We don't want them to flip this. This is lethal here. So they need to take care of the board this turn. Ooh, that's kind of brutal. A second Nickel Bolas. Uh, did we just top deck the win? Maybe. Three, yeah. They could have removal here. Ding. So we kind of broke even here. We can look at I I got the tracker working again, so we'll we can do the final verdict later. But it looks like we're batting about 50-50. Oh no. Yeah. 
this tracker is still kind of funky. Global tech performance. It's not what we're interested in. What I'm interested in is like we didn't play this deck yesterday, so. I mean, what can I say? Someone's just making this program for, for free on their own, so I'm not going to complain. All right, next turn. Hopefully be Jade Light. If they spend their turn Conclaving, I think we're fine. With that, double Registry Alpha is probably going to be good against them. Uh, so they check to see if we block and then second main phase conclave. Oh no, Sun Home Stalwart. Play the land because we may want to block the land war elves here. I think it's unlikely, but. We should give ourselves the option against a deck like this. Hmm. We have the land we need next turn. And this would help us get, like, break a conclave if we want. But yeah, we're just going to sit back and make dinosaurs, and then we can play Vivian if we want it. If they reinforce here, we'll make a couple blocks. Oh, wow. Why are they scooping? Were they out of cards? They had one left. Maybe they just didn't like how wide our board was going to be, and we had de decent sizing as well. So let's see. Oh, is the camera stuck? Hmm. Seems the camera may be stuck, but we'll check that later. All right, what we'll do is we'll turn it off. <laughs> this is the first time we have a hand that doesn't have an elf in it on the play, I think. As long as we hit land, I think we're okay. Branch walkers are not bad things to draw. G light rangers are not bad either. We play the jade light. And then we can have the option to double branch walk next turn if we want. Let's keep it. All right. And we know we want to keep a wide board in this type of matchup. Find our next land drop, hopefully. So our choices next turn will be if we draw a land, we can play Alpha, or we can play Coil, Legion War Boss, if we draw red. This is going to be a tough two turns now. This is quite quite a good turn from them, like an unreal good turn from them, because now their sizing is bigger than ours. Yeah, I uh, I guess we just lost, because that combination of that plus bricking on the land drop 
Um, I think puts us in a losing position here. We have no good trades the next couple turns. This card is just it's so insane. We take fifteen. Don't think we can. Alright. <laughs> I I don't think I've seen a green white list that plays part of the conquerors, but they found a reason to have it in their list. It kinda makes sense. I wonder what they cut for it. Like the tribunals maybe? You kind of don't need it when you're playing Flower Flourish, so I'm not really sure what they would cut for it. Uh, so here's the, again the awkwardness of no stomping ground, but I do think we have to keep. So they're on some potentially rogue plan that I have not seen yet. Definitely not used to seeing Lightning Strike out of a red-white deck. We have Alpha next turn. So whatever their plan is, maybe they're like a weird burn deck. History of Benalia, okay. If they want to trade Knight Token here, that's great for us. We draw a lot of land. I think we're in a coil one, so they can't double block. And we're just gonna push and try to race here. Feels bad to coil there, but the only way we can attack is by getting rid of one of them. And this saves us having to face down two five fours this turn. Alright, Vivian read off the top. No. It's so close though. So close. Interesting, so they're kind of on like a red-white mid-rangey deck that's playing a lot of removal and just like very efficient creatures. But it's not red white angels. It's not like they're playing Knight of Grace. Oh, we have a shot here. Alright, never mind. We had a shot until they played Resplendent Angel. And now they just it's just too much. Um all right, we'll make this maybe the last one, because I don't think this deck is proving to be that interesting. It's kind of fun, but it's not 
not especially fun. It, it does feel like it's like, I, I do think that the alpha is really good. The alpha has been pretty game breaking in a couple of matchups. The war boss, I'm not sold on. The mana base, I'm definitely not sold on because of like awkwardness like this. But we know that Gruel, Gruel is going to be getting some nice, uh, at least one nice three drop in the next set. Like, it's looking like it's going to be a good guild. So, this is going to help keep this fresh in our mind to play with these cards. Like, Rekindling Phoenix is still a really powerful card. Obviously, Carnage Tyrant is super powerful. All right, so they have a bolt in response here. So I know like when we've played on the red side, I don't know, I, I know when we've played green black, like you can sometimes afford to hold the wild growth walker, but I think in games like this, you really can't afford to hold it and try to get like a better trade later. It just, it's never gonna work out for you. And also like the red player can always hold the uh, the bolt, like, I don't know. So I, I I feel like throwing it out there is is worth the upside of getting the explore trigger, even though I know from a red player standpoint, it's like, Oh, I totally goofed. I meant to play that first main biz. So I, d I wonder if you could make a more mid rangey. How much of the explore package can you keep if you're gonna play like uh, Deafening Clarion? Wow, what a turn from them, by the way. What an insane turn from them. All right, so this is an example of the auto tapper going super wrong. Not that we have like any uh, red instance that we would want to use, but look at that. Why would it tap down? Why would it tap down like that? Right, so Registrar Alpha is potentially good here to stabilize. We need to draw land. So we can block block. So now any burn that they have, I don't know, they have to decide between face or trying to get through the creatures. They're just gonna have it every single time. Hmm. All right, we could win from here if this triggers. We can win from here. Oh, and they bricked. Right, I'm gonna mute. So let's look at the time. 49, all right, let's do one more. Let's hope it's a quick one. Because there's like a four mana four five dinosaur, right? So you could play Brontodon, the four mana four five. All right, we can keep that one. So if they're red here, this is a hand. All right, so no, no, we'll keep, we'll play the wild growth here. But if they were like mono red, I think this is the type of hand where we can maybe afford to wait on the wild growth because we have so much backup. Graveyard probably. Yeah. Let's just play the red because we know we had need double red for a couple cards. That Galt is going to come online pretty quickly here. So it's already 7. It 
think we can actually squeeze this Galta in the play next turn. Yeah, we can. So we leave out double green, we branch walk. Double block and take four. I think that's fine though. Them taking four is, makes the Galta super lethal. Yeah. Vivian Reed versus the world. I'm guessing they have a Rastus Contempt. Let's just take the six land here, because that turns on Karn's Tyrant. And I guess we... We know attack now, since we're kind of in protect Vivian Reed mode. I still think they're just going to eat it here. Yeah. Luckily, we put a bunch of blanks on the bottom. Ugh. That's a little gross. Hmm. <laughs> R.I.P. This is probably game over. Ooh, Red Star Alpha is pretty good. Alright. Red Star Alpha puts us live to draw Galta here. Assuming they don't play that Chupacabra, I think they're going to go for the Karch Tyrant. Yeah. So yeah, the correction, we, we were live. Wow, we're only 16 cards into our deck, damn. Uh, I guess we could still draw 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, I think even we can't draw Galta now. We won't be able to cast it. Double blocking this Carnage Tyrant's gonna suck. Oh, come on. This is a horrible time to brick. They're just drawing to a. Uh... Oh, we have to take that. They're drawing to finality, we're not drawing to anything. Drover's kind of a card. At least it's a 3-3 in this situation. Uh, this is kind of, now it's getting a little bit funny. Hmm. So what does Galta do for us here? I mean, clearly we're gonna cast it.
If we swing with everything, do we just cast it and swing with everything and make them figure it out? I think so. <laughs> Looks like they didn't want to figure it out. So probably there's some combination of I don't. I, they might not even have a legal or like a, a way out of this because of how much damage they'll take off Midnight Reaper, even if they do successfully block enough. All right, clean prize. So it looks like we went like plus one with dinosaurs. Uh, yeah, I think we started like around here. So we actually made it up. The deck doesn't feel amazing. I think it's reasonable, but not like... Yeah, it, it's probably just a couple cards off from being really good. I'm not sold on the Drover. I don't know about the the, the Goblin War Boss. Um, but there's something there. I mean, just Galta is strong. The Alpha is strong ramping into ex and explore creatures are strong so there's like a, a core package there that's worth exploring probably with the new set um but yeah we're almost at an hour so that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed volume two of diamond in the rough uh red green dinosaurs we will be back again soon with another video so uh hopefully you're enjoying these we're gonna do what probably five volumes of this if we can get to them all during the week so yeah hope you're enjoying please remember to like subscribe and comment follow the twitch uh, and hopefully we'll see a bunch of you next weekend when we do our mythic grind. It'll be fun. Let's see if we can get to double digits. Hooray. All right. Later, everybody.